Hey guys and welcome back to another video, hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today once again with the Minix NGC5 which is a really awesome mini PC and today not with Windows but with Mac OS. Now on the last video I did share my Akintosh guide for 2022 Mac OS Monterey, I will leave a link right over here. I will also leave links for the Minix NGC5 review. We also did upgrades with a Sabrent 2TB Rocket 4 Plus, which is a awesome SSD, 32 gigabytes of RAM upgraded and a lot more that I can't even recall. So a great little computer that is available to take Mac OS. And it has two M.2 slots, so we can have Windows on one and Mac OS on the other one. Now regarding the installation I will not cover it here because on my Akintosh guide I did use the Minix NGC5 as the computer to develop that tutorial so it's just to follow that uh, tutorial and that is it. The only thing that you will need is the FE folder and if you don't want to waste time uh, selecting which one it is I will leave down below in the description the FE folder that you will need for this particular machine and then just follow the guide use that FE folder and you are ready to go you have an Akintosh right over here ready to start now there are pros and cons and Akintosh is known to have a few cons it's a few of our time but it's always a nice experience especially when we can make it work in this particular case I didn't waste any time whatsoever because everything works out of the box or almost everything works out of the box the only thing that doesn't work right over here is the Wi-Fi is not working by default in almost all Akintoshes now there is a solution there are a couple of solutions for this it has an M.2 Wi-Fi adapter inside so if you want you just need to order one that it's compatible with uh, Mac OS and then just remove it replace it. that is it you can use the antennas that come from the Minix NGC5 and great. If you want another solution you just need to get a very well known uh, TP-Link USB adapter. I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out and order if you want and this will work on any Akintosh at this moment and to do so you just need to go to a link that I will leave down below, download the driver, install that driver, reboot the machine and once it reboots you will have your Wi-Fi working. So as easy as that. One thing that it's not also working is uh, on the right side we have a micro SD card slot and also the audio out is not working so the audio what I'm getting is audio directly from the HDMI to the display and then on the display I can connect any soundbar or any speaker and it will work great. I'm not really sure if it's able to enable this audio but I didn't try so if any of you guys uh, try it out and you find the solution just leave down below so that the community can take advantage of that and share with one another the knowledge that we get now performance wise let me share you some numbers right over here because that's the main goal of this video if i compare with a macbook pro 13 inches which is my machine and is it has almost exactly the same cpu so it should in theory be the same level of performance geekbench 5 you will find that on the macbook pro we will have 900 on the single core score and 3900 on multi-core score on the minix akintosh we will have roughly 1000 on single core score but only 3000 on the multi-core score and okay we have seen a lot of synthetic benchmarks that in reality then doesn't translate but i did play around with final cut pro 10 which is one of my favorite tools to edit videos and what i did was a timeline of 5 minutes and 20 seconds of a 4k clip and while i was editing one of the things that i did notice here on the minix ngc5 by the way i'm using the aoc gaming display which i will share with you guys in a few days and if we use the maximum resolution and 144 hertz what i can see is that there will be some parts that it will jitter a little bit it will not be that smooth and that fast but if i lower to 1080 then it just is flawless no issues whatsoever but nothing really serious it's just a small here and there not as fluid as i'm used to the experience is not bad it's just not perfect now rendering the video i also compared and the results are these on macbook pro a 5 minutes and 20 seconds 4k timeline will take 3 minutes and 50 seconds to render and on the minix ngc5 it will take 5 minutes and 35 seconds to 
render so there will be a big difference right over here especially when we talk about longer timelines now this means only one thing the hardware is almost exactly the same as i do have on my macbook pro so the optimization of the software is not there we all know this for years this is not news to us a Hackintosh is almost not always the same as a Apple computer which is optimized for that particular system. Nonetheless my feedback is that this is a really nice experience if you want to have Windows on one SSD and then have Mac OS on the other one and play around and use apps that otherwise you couldn't then great and Final Cut Pro 10 okay the result was not as fast as the MacBook Pro with the same hardware but the truth is that the result was not bad can you wait five minutes to render a five minutes timeline can you wait 10 minutes to render a 10 minute timeline then yeah why not let's play around let's let's learn with other tools and things like that so guys this is my feedback the experience has been great the only thing that did not work out of the box was the wi-fi and then the audio and micro sd the audio i'm okay with the hdmi output directly to a tv or to a display that has audio output hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one